everybody, welcome back to our daily devotionals, and uh, we're jumping right into Titus chapter 2. So let's go ahead and read uh, verses 1 through 6 together. I'm going to read it out of the message translation. It says, Your job is to speak out on the things that make for solid doctrine. Guide older men into lives of temperance, dignity, and wisdom, into healthy faith, love, and endurance. Guide older women into lives of reverence so that they end up as neither gossips nor drunks, but models of goodness. By looking at them, the younger women will know how to love their husbands and children, be virtuous and pure, keep a good house, be good wives. We don't want anyone looking down on God's message because of their behavior. Also, guide the young men to live disciplined lives. I like we've been talking about a lot, and really we should talk about it every single time we preach from any scripture in any section of the Bible. This is contextual. Paul is trying to reach people in the city of Corinth, and he's trying to understand how Uh, the culture can be used or how people can live inside their culture for the witness of God to be as powerful as it can be. Um, So the biggest takeaway that I want you to have from all of this is not necessarily the specific behavior that he doles out to each specific demographic or kind of person. The biggest thing that we have to understand uh, is that how we live our lives, not just what we say, so much of our focus these days is on what we say because what we say exists on social media and what we say we a lot of times spend a lot of time prepping and seeing how we can arrange the words just right but what paul is trying to communicate is that the gospel is so well communicated or poorly communicated through our actions as well i remember spending time with um my dad when i was a kid and it was not always about what my dad would say. It was about the feeling that I could get from my dad. I, I knew when dad was anxious when we were driving in the car and uh, because the radio would get switched off and we would just sit in silence sometimes. I knew when, uh, when dad was happy. I knew when dad was sad. Because I've spent enough time around him, I could glean these things from him. And I want you to know and be reminded of today because I believe that Paul's trying to remind us in this section of scripture that when it comes to communicating the gospel and who we are and who you are, we have to be understanding of the fact that the world is watching. They're watching our behaviors. They're watching how we struggle and how we try to understand our faith. They're watching how we handle our finances and how we carry ourselves. Now, this doesn't mean that you need to walk out and live an exactly perfect life. Actually, it's not I don't believe that people will follow and receive the gospel because you never struggle. But I do believe that people will have an understanding of Jesus and they will experience the gospel when they watch you struggle really well. They watch you struggle honestly. They watch you struggle uh, in the middle of a time when people would simply just give up. You make the decision to walk forward with grace and kindness and goodness, even in the middle of the most angering parts of our lives. Now, this is a huge reason that I really love staying connected to the local church as well, which is funny because right now we're not all meeting together in a building. Um, I've spent my whole life listening to some of the greatest preachers and communicators in the whole world. I can remember a very small handful of messages, and even from that small handful of messages, I can remember a small handful of words. But the reason that I believe that regularly spending time with a church community, whether it's inside or outside of the building, is that we get all those other senses involved. We get the feeling and the touch. We get the understanding of being in an atmosphere and how that changes the game. So I just wanna remind you today that that is the goal that Paul is after here. He's not simply just after, all right, we gotta say the right thing at the right time. Instead, we understand that people experience the gospel through many other ways.